the three most important retirement planning books you have to get. You have to get them and get them in a paperback or a hard copy. I don't care, but do not just get them on Kindle because you're going to want to take notes. You're going to want to highlight stuff and you can't really do that as well as on Kindle. And by the way, having a physical copy can't be, uh, can't be deleted in the future because of whatever Amazon does or something like that. So we're going to go through these books one by one and, uh, each is important for its own reason, and we're going to look at it on Amazon. And, of course, if you buy it through my Amazon link, I get that 2% commission on purchases. So a book that costs 10 bucks, I get $0.20. Cents. Actually, still use my link, absolutely. But anyway, we're going to go into this. So the first and foremost one is Spend Till the End. I talked about this on yesterday's live stream. And just remember, live streams every Tuesday and Thursday at noon Eastern, and then Sunday at 8 Eastern. PM, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So we got three live streams a week, which uh, which I'm going to go with until I get burned out. And then uh, I don't. And I might do more. I doubt it. But three live streams a week, two Tuesday, Thursday, noon Eastern time, and Sunday evening at 8 p.m. Get this one first and foremost. Spent Till the End by Larry Kotlikoff over at Boston University and Scott Burns, who was in Dallas. I don't know what he's still doing now. Um, I think he did the couch potato investing. Um, it's just, I tell you this right here fundamentally changed everything for me. It fundamentally changed. And the reason for this is actually quite simple. In the old days of retirement planning, we used to think your spending would rise each and every year with inflation. They're like, Oh, that makes sense. I'm getting older. I spend more and inflation makes the prices go up, whatnot. Thus, what I have now, I have to adjust. If I'm spending fifty thousand this year and I have a three percent inflation, I'll have to spend what fifty one thousand five hundred next year. All right, and that's it's just it's silly. And what Kotlikoff and Scott Burns show you is that we actually have this this bell curve, so to speak. All right, you're you don't have much spending here when you're young. Your spending is way down because you got no money. And then you hit your primary working years, you spend up here because you have more money and you have kids, a mortgage, all that stuff. And then as you age, your spending goes down simply because you pay off your debts, your kids are out of the house and whatnot. All right. And uh, that's what we call consumption smoothing, what they came up with the term consumption smoothing. So instead of using your consumption based on the old fake model of this right here, we want to smooth your consumption instead of going up each and every year to infinity and beyond. We're going to can smooth our consumption right here where it just goes flat, essentially. So that way you don't have to get, oh my goodness, I should be saving 15% of my income and I can't do it. Well, yeah, you can't do it because you got kids, you got a mortgage, you got freaking debts to pay. All right, so that's such a classic book right there, Spend Till the End. And then we got part two would be this one right here. All right, so Frederick Vitesse or Batiz, I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, the uh, re the essential uh, retirement guide, a contrarian's perspective. He just goes to the nuts and bolts of the fakeness of the uh, re eighty percent replacement rule. Um, how he he talks about how people spend less as they age, literally in real life, not just uh, oh yeah, I spend less as I age because we ran out of money. It, it, this is from an actuary perspective. Kolokov is an economist. So economists, you know, they can play with numbers, but an actuary is a real number cruncher. All right? So economists are more philosophical around numbers. Actuaries literally are number crunchers that have real life ramifications. So this is not to bash Kotlikoff, but economists have all these trans, uh, incredible formulas, econometrics and stuff, but they're all, you know, it's all theoretical. Actuaries is not theoretical. Actuaries is literally using the numbers day to day. And Frederick Batiste did that by his um, his work as an actuary all right and we'll look at some of the comments in all these books uh, here in just a second and lastly is my man uh keeps with successful retirement plan by my man fritz gilbert who i'm a big fan of up there in blue ridge georgia who used to live down here um i just highlighted one thing here real quick just saw it as we spend down bucket one we periodically refill it by selling stocks and bonds from buckets two and three depending on how the markets are performing if the markets are doing well, we'll refill bucket one at least twice a year. And bear markets will pull several years from bucket one without refilling. Anyway, so he's got some strategies on how he does it um, in terms of his retirement. And, of course, he writes uh, retirement tip number three, focus on developing retirement relationships, ideally while you're still working. Oh, that's great. So he's got a lot of uh, depression, 
Retirement from work has depressed many a man and hastened, hastened his death, says someone named Ezra Taft Benson. Uh, and and uh, Fritz says, I read a study by the Institute of Economic Affairs that found a person's probability of suffering from clinical depression goes up by 40% after retirement. I'm going to have to read that study because I, I, I doubt it, frankly. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, there might be many reasons for that. And that's not to say I don't think Fritz is telling the truth. I just I want to dive deeper in that. Um, but it might be true. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, the point being is lots of tidbits, not just on like, you know, how, uh, just just such a great the story of freedom for Fido. Uh, learn from the success of others. If you look up definition of retire, you'll find to withdraw from action or danger. In my mind, this is exact opposite what retirement could mean. There's just so many freaking things in here. I love it, man. It's a it's a great book. And uh, so we have the philosophical with the Larry in terms of economic economics, uh, but not just, but he has literally actionable ideas in there as well. Then we have the actuary stuff, the real number crunching with uh, Frederick Fatiz. And then we have the, I don't know, the, the impl impl implementation of a guy who actually is retired, who just retired. And he said, these are the things he learned. Such a great read. So all these are easy to read. I mean, you're not gonna read them overnight, but you get your pen and paper, you start highlighting stuff, and you'll see I got highlights on top of highlights on top of highlights. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just as I just page after page of notes that you want to take. I don't know if I have written my notes in here. Yeah, I did. I just wrote the highlights, and here you can see just all these notes and reference. It just is nuts, man. So get these three books, it will change your perspective on retirement guaranteed. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.